Organisation today face a confluence of headwinds. Economic uncertainty, increasing cost pressures, a raging war for talent, combined with a significant supply chain risk and an ongoing energy crisis are really impacting our ability to plan. In our latest research, we explore how organisations can reinvent their corporate real estate strategies in response to ever-changing business priorities and a challenging operating landscape. So, what should you pay attention to in 2023? The concept of hybrid is arguably one of the most discussed themes amongst corporates at the moment, with key questions about what operationalising hybrid means for companies, people and ultimately their real estate. The world of work has changed permanently, but what has emerged is that the office is paramount if hybrid is to function effectively. The changing dynamics within the workplace means that there are greater factors at play, with more of an emphasis now on how offices with a people-first approach, but how they need to be designed and function to make sure that they are fit for purpose. And with this comes the need for corporates to make strategic investments in key areas, but at a time when they're also faced with cost pressures. So strategic investments that are made will need to have maximum benefit and optimise with the greatest levels of impact. Those that look at longer term strategic investments that align with not just corporate priorities, but also with the needs, requirements and expectations of their workforce will see greatest levels of sustainable benefit. And looking at key areas of investment, technology has been a key driver for change, no more so in the last three years than ever before, with significant investment in real estate technologies to meet rising challenges and complexities. And more is set to come. So tech advancements and investment across hardware, software, and digital infrastructure will allow improved processes, automation, greater performance measurement and the ability to predict. And I think anything that can help improve efficiencies or give greater transparency and intel will ultimately help save time, reduce costs and allow corporates to have greater agility and responsiveness. Data maturity will help generate sophisticated performance insights and enable dynamic decision making. It's the evolution from periodic data gathering to continuous real-time data collection it's the shift from viewing metrics as efficiencies and numbers to hit, to metrics used to drive transformation, enable change, and track value creation. Having better access to data will enable organizations to respond to the specific needs of its workforce, supporting holistic well being. For any organization, employees are its biggest asset, creating human centric, conscious, sustainable, and inclusive workplaces will better meet employees' social, physical, and mental needs. And this will help improve performance resilience, engagement, and long-term business success. Real estate is not just defined by the physical buildings, but by the wider sense of place to the surrounding and connected communities. Changing workforce preferences, sustainability pressures, and the transformation of real estate via technology are forcing a reimagination of CBDs and the selection urbanization of suburbia. Today, location decisions are more conscious of the wider community implications than ever before. Most corporates now have ambitious net zero carbon targets and leasing green certified real estate is one way that occupiers can lower their carbon footprint. The flight to quality trend, which we see in all three of the regions is due in part at least to these ESG ambitions and 74% of CRE leaders globally told us that they would be willing to pay a premium to lease space in a green building. 60% of global emissions are generated by supply chains. Corporates are assessing opportunities to reshore and nearshore, and that's in an attempt to lower risks and lower costs. Increasing representation of small, local and diverse suppliers will be key in mitigating supply chain risk and procuring locally and responsibly will also enable companies to get that little bit closer to achieving their ESG goals. 39% of CRE leaders globally are reallocating footprint to facilitate access to skilled labor. So a concentration of talent is critical to location choice and organizations will prioritize markets with the strongest innovation and talent characteristics such as Beijing, Paris and San Francisco. 
redefine partnerships. As the mandate of real estate leaders increases, 79% of them anticipate more reliance on external partners. Real estate leaders will be looking to form alliances and to redefine an ecosystem of partners to tackle new challenges and solve complex problems, like the impact of artificial intelligence, the exponential power of data, or the rise of robotics and automation, and the demand for renewable energy.